I was I was really not prepared for what happened when I first came into the gasometer here. Um, of course, intellectually, I understood that the space was 100 meters high and so on and so forth. But nothing prepared me for the feeling of when I first walked in. And when I came up the stairs and looked at this huge space, I, my heart stopped. It was extraordinary. And it took me a while to realize that the feeling that I'd had of surprise and being kind of overwhelmed by one of the largest spaces I've ever been in, the largest interior spaces I've ever been in, um, was a familiar feeling, in fact, this feeling I had felt before. And I felt it in cathedrals, typically, that I had visited many times in Europe. And I wondered, why am I feeling this feeling of, of almost sacred spiritual awe in an industrial space, and also an industrial space that was filled with toxic you know, chemicals, which would have killed us all at that time if we were uh, in this space then. So that was a really interesting uh, experience to have in here. And I think it became very clear very soon that the only piece I could really show in here of my work was the five angels. If you'll allow me, I'd like to show you uh, what happens when you, what, what happens to sound in this space, okay? So are we ready? Okay. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> many seconds? We think it's around 10 seconds, which is really, really long. It doesn't seem like much in a way, but if you consider, you know, most cathedrals are around six seconds, seven seconds. This is really, really a long, uh, what we call decay time, the, the time it takes for the sound to decay back to silence. Okay, so... Per platform, like that. Yeah, I think it's 13. First one's a little more. Well, I think that uh, part of our nature as human beings is is uh, a spiritual dimension. I mean, this is not uh, simply the the uh, expression of religion, whether it be Christianity, Islam, or Judaism or Buddhism. Uh, it's really the the kind of one of the properties of human beings, one of the basic principles of human beings. I mean, the way birth and death and sex and uh, eating is, you know. We've always had a need to make images. And I think images have a special relationship for us. You go back to the beginning of time with human beings and you see, what do you see? You see images on the walls of the caves. So these images have always had a special place as a kind of an intermediate zone between these deep feelings that we have as human beings of being in the world and the external world. So art in general is about bringing forth what's in you in some metaphysical, spiritual dimension, bringing it into the world in some tangible, physical way that others can experience. That's the kind of connection here. And I think in this space, which is such heavy hardware. I mean, this is one of the, the peaks of the Industrial Revolution, the technology that it took to make this space in the 1920s in Germany, here in Oberhausen, was one of the most advanced technologies of the time that was the result of many, many years and centuries of sort of technical development. But it's on the physical plane, it's hardware heavy industry, steel, you know, metal, iron, you know. And so to bring these images of human beings really not in this world, the, the images I've, I've shot for this piece of a person underwater really is, are images like you only see in dreams or in memories or in the imagination. To bring them into this space, which is so much about heavy industry, I think, is where the kind of tension point is, which I'm, I'm really very interested in, actually.